24 schools, 24 children battle for the winner of your number one award-winning educative program in Unshading Champ Season 1 from the 6th of May to the 15th of July 2022. A program designed to enhance our children's speaking skills with proper diction in their day-to-day -day communication at Pen Radio Live Studio every Friday 8.30 a.m. Watch out for this program on Pen Radio Live. It's the Battle of the Enunciators. Let the battle begin and champions be revealed in Unshaken Champ proper diction at its peak. Hello and welcome to another great episode of In Unshaken Champ Season 1. And I am super excited. We are actually about rounding up this round and this section actually of the season. And it's really an important one for us today as we will be looking at about between Genius Kids Academy and Starville, the final round for them. And it has actually been um, a way, you know, a journey so far. Yeah, it's been a long one. Okay, of course, we all know Kenny right here. Kenny is the judge from the first episode down to the last episode. This mm -hmm. is the third one now. Yeah. And you have been actually one. consistent. Thank you so much actually. You're welcome. It's not your time for me to thank you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so what okay. do you say about today? Today's episode, um, it's very an, an interesting one actually. It's all about task, impromptu speech. Yeah. No, impromptu speaking rather. So it's going to be an interesting one. So we do not know what we have for them yet until then so let's take a short break and when we come back we'll we'll have genius keys going up against starville in this third and final round for them so let's do a quick introduction again because um, it's very um, necessary so kindly tell us your name your school and your age quickly let's start with genius keys academy my name is Chibike Dikocha David. I am from Junior Skate Academy, Academy and I am 9 years old. Okay, next. My name is Naldezi Imanot Kwemeka. I am I'm from Junior Skate Academy and I am 10 years old. 10 years old. Next. My name is Irolua Alashoka. I'm from Starview School and I am 9 years old. Okay. My name is Adwin David. I am from Starry School and I am 10 years old. Wow. Oh, um, you Ray, I think I remember the last time your voice, like, you have a baritone voice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so this is it. You have a task inside the okay. um, bowl over there. So we would go according to um, alphabetical order, which is G. Okay, G comes before S. So Genius Kids will pick first. Now, this is it. You have just uh, whatever you pick, the task you pick, please pay attention. The task you pick over there, you would hand the task over to me and I will read it. It's Some of them might be time bound and you have just 30 seconds, 20 seconds or whatever seconds you see there. And when I say go, you go. And we will be judging you according to your pronunciation of words, your intonation, your hand gestures, and your sentence construction is that clear yes are you sure about that yes sir good now let's go genius kids pick your task stretch your hand to speak your task okay so we have here i want you all to relax yourself this is the final round hmm. Under 30 seconds, when you hear the beat, please stop. Tell us about your worst chores at home. Your worst chores at home and why you hate doing them. Hold on. Tell us about your worst chores at home. Please remember to speak up and why you hate doing them. Your time starts now. Well, my worst chore at home is sweeping. Because whenever I sweep, I always get ants crawling all over my body. So, so that's why I like mopping instead. So you can simply use the mopping stick to mop the floor. Are you done? Hmm. Okay. And the reason why I don't like sweeping because you get yourself all dirty and the broom might fall apart. 
Okay, so you have extra three seconds left for you before you stop. That is cool. I like it. All right, Junior's kids have just picked that question. Now let's go. Starville, the task is 20 seconds. Okay. Kindly tell us how to prepare noodles. Hold on. Well, how to prepare noodles? You you get noodles. You, it's usually in a in a sachet. Then you open then you open it up. Then you pour the noodles in the in the boiling water and wait for it to and wait for some minutes. Then after that, you cannot put your onions, carrots, or whatsoever. Thank you so much. You did not finish it up. Thank you so much, but you tried. Okay, Junior's Kids Academy, pick your task. Act and sound like a diction teacher. Your time starts now. Hello, pupils. I, I want to. I am here to teach about the five vowel sounds A, E, I, O, U. Let first let's start with A. A like cat, bat, and sat, and E like egg, beg, hen. E E that's pin, ni pin. Your time is up. And what do we have here? The baritone Ire Olua, the baritone go, pick your toys. Okay, let's go the last round for the first um, session period. So, pick your question, please, Junior's kids. Okay, well, sorry, I beg your pardon. It's called a task, please. Okay, so we have here. Yeah, there is no time bound on, on this one. It says, say this tongue twister. Do you know what a tongue twister is? Shibike, do you know what a tongue twister is? Say this tongue twister five times without making a mistake. She sells seashell by the seashore. Okay, she sells seashell by the seashore. I think I should be able to give it to you now since there is no time bound here. Please sign it. You are going to lose a mark for that if you don't take time. Just hold it right here. Please let's give him like, um, Judge, what do you think? Let's give him a few seconds to go through it. She sells seashell by the seashore. Take a deep breath, okay? If you're ready, you let us know. Silence, please. Let's go. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells she seashells by the seashore. She sells seashell by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, five times. Well, I wouldn't say she can go it actually because I straight up. It's not. It's funny actually. She sells seashell by the seashore. Okay, mom, let's just say, Jed, what do you think? It's because um, <laughs> say something. Go yeah. on. It's because it's adult, right? Yeah, you are used to it. Mm hmm. Let's just put it that way. She sells. She's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Start with a big girl task, please. Okay, so what do we have here? Ten seconds to answer this question. Are you ready? Yes. Who picks it? Okay. Oh, task. Thank you. Oh, my children are actually on fire this morning. When you wake up in the morning, how do you lay your bed? Your time starts now. I lay my bed. First, I move the pillows. Then, I straighten the bed sheets. Then, I take the pillows back and put it on the bed. Then, I talk a little. Mm, you tried. You tried. I like it. I like it. Yeah, but one of the things I picked out there was um, then. Then. It's supposed to be th then. Okay. Oh, well, anyway, I'll leave that to the judge. Alright, so let's take a short break and when we come back, we would continue from this wonderful and splendid, wonderful, superb, superb episode, which is all about impromptu speaking. We'll be right back. All right, so welcome back to this wonderful program and this great episode where we have Junior's Kids going up against Starville. And it has actually been a very interesting bout since the day one. Uh, and you know, it's actually important that we learn 
how to speak diction and I will use this opportunity or this medium to encourage every pupil out there to try as much as possible to practice practical diction. So let's proceed or continue from where we start. So who picked last? Okay, Starreville picked the last task and um, let's see what we can do. Genius kids, let's go. Alright, this question is for 30 seconds. Wow. For 30 seconds. Tell us how you celebrated your last birthday with proper diction. Your time starts now. When I celebrated my last birthday, it was quite a memorable one. My mom woke me up and told us that I should get dressed, that we're going out. After I got dressed, we went to shop right, we ate, we played games, and when we, after that when we got home, I found a cake in my house. We cut it, shared it to my friends, and that is how I celebrated my last birthday. Oh, four seconds left. Cool. Alright. Wow, well, so you, you went to shop right? You ate the cake alone. Mano, where is mine? You didn't keep mine for me. That's not fair. Yeah. After immediately after the show we're going to shop right. Both of us are going to get me a cake. <laughs> Alright, Star, go pick your task. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Who picked this one? Ire. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I like it. Anytime it's your turn, I have to use the voice. Because I like it. Do you know I love baritone voice too as well? You know that? Huh? Okay, let's go. Make three wishes. Make three wishes. You have just 15 seconds. Your time starts now. The my three wishes are world world peace. Um, enough resources for the needy and a good education for me and, me and others. Mm, 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 mm. The judge, did you see that? <laughs> Recite the national pledge with proper diction. Hold it. Recite the national pledge with proper diction. Remember? Speak up. Your time. Oh, no time, sorry. You can go. Recite the national pledge with proper diction. The pledge. I pledge Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, and to defend our unity and our power and honor the glory. So help me God. Mm, mm, mm. You tried. You tried. So, okay, we have um, serve, not serve. Okay, we have uphold and glory. Okay, that, that, listen, start with though. Who is talking here? So, as a result, last time, round two table was 59 points for Genius Kids Academy, 58 points for Christus Art, Thought was 57 for Early Beginners, and 57, a tie. There was a tie. Yeah, there was. Time. Yeah, a tie for Starville. And um, based on the first one, I was supposed to call the first one actually, they did. Starville was leading with 34 points, Early Beginners was 27. Christmas Act was 24 and Genius Kids was 19. Look at that, man. I think that they picked up was that thesis. Yeah, the thesis. It was really was about between Hello Beginners and Genius Kids yeah, that day. It was favorable. I think I remember when she was talking about the praising thing. I can't forget the particular word. The contradictory really? point. The contradictory point is what it's left a vague that. Is consequence of their action. Mm. <laughs> Okay, so we have at the end of today's episode, uh, Genius Kids have the total score of 35 points and Star Reveal the total of 25 points. Okay, so what would you, what, what would you tell me about the 25 points? Why 25? Based on the fact that yeah. they had, was it because they could not, or was it because Genius Kids no, Academy had points. more timing? No. 
yeah. and finished on time. You know, we actually looked at sentences, construction. Like when the boy was talking about the instructional text on how to cook noodles, oh, no, please. it wasn't so good. So we can't. We just have to be sincere with ourselves. So there are points, there are construction, and then there are pronunciation. At some point, really brought them down a little bit. At some point. Okay, so we have total of ninety-two points for Junior's kids and eighty-two points for Star Revolt. Next week Friday we will have a bout between Early Beginners and Christus Ark. The battle is not yet over. Of course we have individual awards, right? Yeah. Individual awards are coming up soon for all the children who actually participated. We will be looking out for the best in kinesthetics connection. Yeah, we didn't talk about the hand gestures. I think it part was of in it good today. Oh, yeah, all no. of them. But I mean, it was the hand gestures is not actually want to talk it about. It was in good And Irene, Irene herself did not do the gesticulation that I know how no, to do. No, she course. didn't. She didn't. And what about Davy, the other one for Starable? No. They were both talking like this. Even Junior's kids are kind of too as well. So both of them, they did not really impress me, impress us when it comes to hand gestures. I think we should work with that. Yeah. <laughs> for the moment. Yeah. For the moment. Okay, so we have Junior's kids academy, as I said before. 35, Starville 25, total of 92, and Starville total of 82. So as it stands now, as it stands now, Junior's Kids Academy is leading first position. Starville is having the second position. And we will determine the final score, the final stand, at the end of the second bout. And after that, we would head straight up to the award winning. It has actually been a fun uh, will I say time? Fun time, yes, with Miss Kenny. And I really want to appreciate your time for actually being the judge on today's episode. You're thank you so much. I still remain Victor Daniels. And very big thank you to Penn Radio for being a proud sponsor of this great program. Bye. Four schools, 24 children battle for the winner of your number one award-winning educative program in Unshaken Champ Season 1 from the 6th of May to the 15th of July 2022. A program designed to enhance our children's speaking skills with proper diction in their day-to-day -day communication at Penn Radio Live Studio every Friday 8.30 a.m. Watch out for this program on Penn Radio Live. It's the battle of the Unshakers. Let the battle begin and champions be revealed in Unshaking Champ, proper diction at its peak.